got it. <laughs> yeah. Nope, don't shoot. Where is he, Daisy? Get him! My heart was just like... Hello, welcome to The Bird Tales, episode 23. I've got a lot to talk about this week, so I'm going to go right into my hunt with my friend Steven for rough grouse and woodcock last week. Okay, drop. Good boy. Steven's a heck of a flushing dog. He just flushed and shot his first woodcock all by himself. I don't know if it's on camera or not. You were kind of out of to the right. Okay. There you got it. Woodcock. Mm -hmm. we'll I, took see. A, I took a mental snapshot. You took a mental snapshot? Where did it, you said there was another one that went up there? So there's another one that went straight. So we'll try to find that one. Did you see that? I actually don't have a clue what happened there. Uh, I just looked up and there was a grouse fluttering. Not really like streaking, but more of a flutter right in front of me. I don't know if you hush it or what, but all of a sudden I'm like, there's a grouse right in front of my face. Oh, um, a few seconds after that, Remnar went on point. We got... <laughs> that was good. Couldn't get a shot off, so that's what we're doing now is trying to find that woodcock. I think so. See if the dog comes back with them. It went, it, it either, I either got it or it went down right there. There, he's right there. There you go. Yep, got him. Come on, him. Bring him. Come. All right. Woodcock number two. We got? I don't know. Did you flush it the second time? Like right before I shot it? Yep. I'm a good bird dog. I'm you a are. You are a good bird dog. Give me a treat. Yeah. I got a point. I got a good point. Whoa. You ready, Steven? You, you got it! That was a rock! I don't think so, but you got yours. I'm gonna go, we'll go look for that one once he brings yours back. He's got it. <laughs> yeah! Come here, buddy. Good dog. Good dog. Good boy. Steven! There it is! Oh, yeah, looks nice. There it is. Steven's got his first rough. Rem went on point right here. Come on, Remy, come. We're going to go back and look for, there's two grouse here. One went Steven's way and he shot it. And I was so elated by the fact that I, I saw Steven's grouse fall that I, you had to say, it's going. And there was another one coming right past me that I shot at. I don't think I hit it, but we'll go look for it anyways. Maybe it landed in here, but that was sweet. That was awesome. All right. Oh, those are my favorite. Good point, good shot, the mm -hmm. whole deal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that was about. Find a bird. He was just, he wasn't like on point. He was just standing there looking at me. Oh, right there, yep.
We doubled up on that one. Beauty. That was a nice point too. Come on, Em. Come on, Em. Come here. Come here. Yeah, he has. Yeah, you blew up his tail. It was a real nice tail until you shot him again. You shot the tail, I shot the face. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Leave him, Rem. Good dog. Oh, it's not blowing. Man? It's not blowing up too bad. No? Yeah, but when he was going sideways like this, I was like, he's going down, I'll let him be, and then you shot him oh, again. Really? <laughs> no. I would have shot again if you went to hit him. But. Nice. Yeah. Dude. Nice. It's awesome. I can't wait. What? Whoop! Go! Go do it! I'm coming! There's a rough too. Yep. I I don't think so. But I killed some trees big time. <laughs> You're on the trail too. <laughs> well, <laughs> the shooting lane on the trail is minuscule. I'm gonna go up there and look though, but like I saw tree go poosh and then tree go poosh Hello, it's a cold and windy day here in Minnesota and uh, I'll have to do some explaining when I'm in the house editing this video, um, which I'll probably cut to now. So if you're a hunter and you're paying attention, you've probably heard a hundred times already that hunter numbers are in decline. On the surface, that kind of seems like a good thing. There'll be less hunters in the parking lot on opening day, more birds for you and me and our dogs. And... But in reality, that's a really bad thing for us because without hunter support, without the money raised by hunters, uh, the North American model of wildlife conservation falls apart. So one of the things that we hunters can do to combat this is to become a hunting mentor, which is something that I have decided to do. So this summer, I signed up to take a training course uh, through Pheasants Forever and the Minnesota DNR. Become a hunting mentor. I can't see if I did that right. So by taking one of these training courses uh, through the National Hunter... National Mentor Hunter Training Program, the National... Through the National Hunting Mentor Training Program, I think I'm saying that right. By taking one of these courses, uh, a lot of the states are offering um, some insurance to hunters. So if their mentee uh, were to get into an accident while they were learning how to hunt, um, they would be covered under insurance. And so through that program, I was able to hook up with a couple of mentees who I'll be taking hunting uh, this year. And I took Yao, one of my mentees hunting, for the first time just last week. This is Yao. Hello. Hello. <laughs> We're on his first pheasant hunt, right? Yes. First pheasant hunt. And uh, I'll tell you more about it from sitting in my house when it's not so windy, but we're just gonna go hunting. Let's go up here. Let's go right through there. Yep. Nope, don't shoot. <laughs> yeah, just right next to us. It's pretty exciting. Well, we ended our first pheasant hunt together. What'd you think? I'm dying. <laughs> Are you tired? Yes. Is it the, the amount of walking or is it the t how thick the grass is? I think it's both of that. But the thing is like, you can always be surprised by birds just next to you. Yeah. 
Yeah. And we're following another we one. We were surprised <laughs> by a lot of birds. There was one, Remnar was way ahead of us. We were just walking and, and you almost stepped on it. Yeah. 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 It was a pretty good day though. Yes. Beautiful day. It was Fall, crispy. Yep. Crispy air for sure. All right. Let's get you back to your car and end this sucker. You can go home and go to bed. <laughs> yeah, I think so. And grab some beer. <laughs> grab some beer. All right. <laughs> I'm going to put some information in the description box of the places you can go to find information about becoming a mentor and the programs that I'm talking about. I would really encourage you to do something like this. Not only is it important to make sure that hunting is continued and that wildlife habitat and public lands are maintained, but I also think it's really fun. I get a lot of joy out of seeing the look on somebody's face when a hen pheasant flushes a foot away from them. Good morning. Another day, another dog, another WPA. Yep. So about 10 seconds ago, we just flushed, flushed. We just kicked up a deer right here and the deer ran up over the hill. No. And we're walking this way and it looked like a rooster and a couple hens. He was cackling the whole time and he flew up and landed like 100 yards ahead of us in this grass. The wind's blowing like this, so we're gonna try to go up and over. Should be a sure thing, right? I'll find a way to screw it up. I'll find a way to screw it up. Rooster. First rooster of the day. A lot of times, I mean, even if you get a good point, <clears throat> you kind of assume there's a bird there, but you don't know for sure. And so you get a little nervous, but you're just kind of like, we'll see what happens. I knew there was a rooster right there. He literally flew up over this hill. I'm assuming the deer kicked it up, flew up over this hill and landed like a hundred yards in front of us. And because I knew he was there, my heart was just like doo, 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 doo. So my first shot was a six steel. It is a WPA. And I, I obviously hit him and I think he would have went down anyways. But my second shot was a four. And that dropped him right away. So whew, gosh. Doom, All, right. Doom, doom. All right, so there's our rooster limit for the day. Good job, Days. I don't know what the deal is today. Gotta shoot him twice, I guess. But Daisy found him pretty quick. We got soaked. I went up a little bit, just a little bit below my knees. Um, remember, Daisy doesn't, Daisy doesn't retrieve. I mean, th my plan was, went back there, did our thing, shot the other rooster. We were gonna come back, and as we were walking over, <laughs> I see a dog running in front of me. And then I see a guy, he was over right where I was gonna go. But I figured, all right, well, let's just let him be. We'll cut down into the willows and head back to the car. And just as soon as we got into the willows, Daisy's really birdie, so I rush up to her and rooster flush it. Find him, Daisy, find him. Oh, he wasn't hit very good. It's wet down in here. Find him, Daisy, find him. Where's that bird? Where is he? There he is. She's got him. Good girl. There he is. <sighs> Woo hoo! So, thanks, guy. Otherwise, I would have. We literally would have walked right past this rooster if that guy wouldn't have been there. So, kudos to you, sir. And we're done. And we can go home. So that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully next week's episode is not just me walking around in the rain the whole time. So thank you for watching. See ya.